2012. The, the question is that the motion be agreed to. Just, be, just before I call the Honourable Member, I, I would just invite members to look at Standing Order 2863, which uh, may be, this, this may well be a uh, breaking new ground. Uh, Honourable David Parker. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. New Zealand uh, has very few constitutional protections against bad law. We have only one House of Parliament. Once a law is passed here, there is no upper House of Parliament conferring protections upon uh, New Zealanders against bad law. We don't have a president that can veto bad legislation. One of our most important protections is select committee processes, and select committee processes have been deemed so important by this parliament that at the end of last parliament we changed our standing orders, because we in this parliament recognised that through truncating select committee processes, we undermine good lawmaking. One of the reasons why we normally have six months for select committee... Pro Big your pardon? We didn't support it going to select committee because we opposed the bill. Correct. Any bill that goes to select committee should have the benefit of the full six months if it is contentious, especially if it's important especially if it's opposed by the opposition, especially if it's opposed by part of the dairy industry. Going back to the point as to why, Mr Speaker, and how long is this call? It's a 10-minute ten ten minute call. call. Thank you. Uh, going back to why Parliament changed standing orders, Parliament recognised that select committee processes is, are the most or one of the most important protections for New Zealand against bad lawmaking. If you have six months at select committee, you have the opportunity for submitters to properly get their head around the issues. You have the opportunity for them to lobby other people who should be interested, to get their committees to go through their monthly meeting and put a submission in. You have the opportunity for them to lobby the media and to explain to the media why it is that there are fundamental flaws in legislation that is being proposed. And that's why, Mr Speaker, if this parliament uses its powers to override that normal protection that is to be found in the six-month period to report back legislation once it goes to select committee. That's why this parliament deems it so important that we should have a special debate on the motion to truncate the period, because we are undermining one of the very few protections that we have in our country against bad law. Now, in terms of why it is important in respect of this specific piece of legislation, we are dealing with the exporter, essentially, of 25% of New Zealand's exports. There are major flaws in the bill which relate to... A point of order, Louisa. My understanding from the standing order, uh, Mr Speaker, that you quoted before means that it cannot talk about the principles of the bill. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to uphold the point of order. I think the member is, is inside what the standing order says at this point. Thank you. <laughs> it's Thank not you. a get home free card. No, no, I'm not, I'm not going to repeat my speech at first, uh, at first mm. uh, reading, sir, but there are at least mm. three large contentious matters dealt with by this bill, all of which are contentious. The first relates to how milk should be priced from Frontera to others. I haven't had an opportunity to speak about... No, I'm not, now the member I'm, is... I'm, I'm, no, I'm no, not, no, order. Going, I'm not order, going to... Order, no. The member is now getting outside that framework. I think he was doing very well till that point. Uh, David Parker. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is that there, uh, this is a very complex piece of legislation which deals with 25% of New Zealand's exports. There are lots of angles to this that need to be explored by both submitters and, yeah. uh, and, uh, uh, and the select committee itself. And I was evidencing the fact that in my first reading debate, sir, I only got the chance to deal properly with one of them. There are, there are two other issues in this bill that are as significant, if not to me, to other people whose opposition to that bill, uh, this bill is on, on, on different grounds to my own. Mr Speaker, for Parliament to be asked to truncate the normal select committee process from six months to halve it down to three months does no justice to the proper consideration of what is probably one of the most important economic decisions that will be taken by this House of Representatives in the next three years. Because, as we have heard in the debate already, sir, there are aspects of this bill that people think are of enormous effect to our largest exporter. And to truncate the process 
from six months to three is exactly why uh, Parliament changed the standing orders to highlight or to allow members of Parliament to highlight to the public and to the media what it is that Parliament's being asked to do. We're being asked by the National Party to truncate this from six months to three months, and the only answer that we've been given, or the justification that we've been given by uh, Mr Guy uh, as he put the motion, was that Fonterra wants it by that date. Well, look, there's a national interest here that goes beyond Fonterra's interest. We in Parliament are responsible for the future of the New Zealand economy. Yes, the interests of Fonterra are important. Yes, the interests of individual farmers are important, but there is a wider New Zealand interest that we in this parliament are responsible for. And Mr Guy, I'm completely unconvinced by your suggestion that because Fonterra wants this through by the 1st of June, we should be putting aside normal processes when we know that halving that period of time means that those people who are opposed to this legislation will not have the normal period of time to campaign, to go and see their local MPs, to go and see other farmers that might be concerned about it, to go and see um, the newspapers and to get the issue up in the media. And so, Mr Speaker, given that we have very few other protections in this country against bad law, I say that this parliament should vote against this motion and that we should uh, vote against the motion to truncate this from six months to three months, and we should stand for the proper protection of the New Zealand economy, the proper protection of New Zealanders, and have a full select committee process so that they can give the normal six weeks advertising. Mr Speaker, you'll be aware that normally six weeks is the time that is allowed for people who are submitting on legislation to have time to gather their thoughts, to consider the legislation. This legislation has only been tabled in the last week. They won't understand the detail of it yet. They need six weeks of that six-month period to actually say what they think about the legislation, and then they need to have sufficient time for those people whose submissions have been put in to actually come to the Select Committee to put their case, to say what's wrong, to say what should be changed, to say what they agree with, to support it if they want, and then the Select Committee needs to have the time to get considered advice from the departmental officials as to what is the right policy position, and the, the various parties need the time to take that to their caucuses, to have a discussion about, about the issues. All this time, sir, there should be background meetings between the different interest groups and different caucuses happening. This, all these things take time. And then the Parliamentary Council. They need proper time in order to go about their job of drafting amendments to the legislation, which will no doubt be necessary. And all of this takes time. And that's why we normally allow six months for a select committee to properly do its work. For one of the most significant pieces of legislation on the economic front that will be passed at least during this year, probably by this term of, during the term of this government, to have that truncated from six months to three months is very poor practice. What is it that the government wants to push through without proper scrutiny? Well, I su suggest, sir, that it is indicative of the fact that there are provisions in this bill that are unwise, that the longer this debate goes in the media and in front of select committee, the more apparent it will become that the government is at risk of making a serious mistake. The less time that we have as an opposition to identify and to get uh, through to the various people who are interested in these issues the detail of our concern, the less time we have. We don't have the benefit of ministries working 24 hours a day. We have to do these things ourselves with the benefit of advice from um, some advice at select committee and perhaps some advice that we get from the parliamentary library and from other interest groups that come in to see us. But we, if we have a truncated process, we don't have the time to actually properly draft the amendments that are needed to this legislation in order to protect the public interest that we in this parliament are guardians of. We are not here for the farmers alone. We are not here for Fonterra alone. We are here for the broad range of New Zealand interests, including, in this case, 25% of New Zealand's exports which go out from the dairy sector. Mr Speaker. Uh, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, Mr Speaker, I, I want to thank the, uh, uh, the, the Speaker.